the Democratic Education Network is proud to celebrate International Women's Day. Whilst International Women's Day was initially founded in 1910 by a group of working women in the USA, over 100 years later, we remember the struggle and achievements of many women who have fought together for their rights. We must not forget that many women are still struggling for their fundamental rights. The articles in Dems online magazine and this short video produced by some of the students are their reflections of this important day. On the 8th of March, we celebrate International Women's Day, a day where we ought to remember the achievements of women through history. But we also celebrate girls and women all over the world. On this day, we want to draw attention on gender equality and women's rights in a united front to empower women and girls to have a voice and be equal player in decision making. The theme for this year is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. Recognizing the contribution of women around the world who are leading the charge on climate change adaptation, mitigation and response to build a more sustainable future for everyone. In Italy, we celebrate by giving a mimosa flower to all girls and women, a flower characterized by its delicacy and its resilience in growing in harsh condition, a token to symbolize a strong and independent woman. And I wanted to take a minute and um, just celebrate all the wonderful women who have sacrificed so much to bring us where we are now today. In the early 1900s, women were experiencing pay inequality, lack of voting rights, were being overworked, and it's thanks to their achievements, to our moms, our grandmas, our great grandmas, that we uh, are where we are now today. But unfortunately, um, we do still feel the consequences of our patriarchal society. One out of three women still experience physical or sexual violence, according to the WHO. Women experience unequal pay. In the EU, that gap stands around to 14%. There's almost no ability to balance a career and children. It is hard to be taken seriously in the workplace as we are constantly sexually objectified. And there's a strong underrepresentation of women in politics and in business leaderships. So, having addressed um, all these problems, um, if I were to ask men maybe um, what they could do to help us um, overcome all these inequalities, I would just tell them, just listen to what we have to say. Um, often uh, with feminism, it happens that uh, it is m misunderstood by our male counterparts and they actually um, we, they feel that with feminism, we want to overthrow them. But actually, that is that could not be more wrong and because they are their best allies. And in the journey to achieve equality, it is important to have them on our side. And also because the patriarchal society is not only oppressive for us but for them as well the pressure to always have to be perfect the breadwinners never cry always be strong is mentally draining as well as for them so that's why i can only add having you guys as our allies on our side is the best gift that you can do for us on international women's day international women's day is the day we celebrate both the achievements and stories of women all around the world for me personally International Women's Day most closely associates with my mother and my sister and what we usually do as a family is that we usually all get together, have a nice meal, talk and celebrate these amazing people we have in our lives. In our culture, even though there aren't that many customs specific to um, Women's Day, it's still quite common to see people giving flowers or other small gifts to the, the people they find the most important and celebrate their achievements. I think that celebrating International Women's Day is a very good opportunity for everyone to just stop and take a minute to appreciate all the work and value that half of our population has provided throughout the history. Also, it is important to recognize all the struggles that have come with it and ask ourselves as a society, where are we now and where do we want to go next? 
I am personally from Estonia, which is one of the Baltic states in Eastern Europe. In my country, there are still many influences from the Soviet Union times when it comes to celebrating International Women's Day. In fact, the day is called just Women's Day, not International Women's Day. Also, many people associate it with some Soviet Union tradition and they think that it's all about bringing women flowers and sharing poems about how beautiful women are. But unfortunately, this all misses the point of International Women's Day, in my opinion. So when I go back to my country, I make sure to make some effort to start new discussions about appreciating women's work, recognizing the struggles and also asking Estonians where are we now as a society and where do we want to go next? International Women's Day is a day celebrating the social, economic, cultural and political achievements of women all around the world. It is to raise awareness against bias and take action for equality. There are a number of missions in 2022 in order to promote a more gender equal world and society. These missions are women and technology, women at work, women forging change, women and sport, women and health, and women's empowerment. These missions are about celebrating women's achievements and increasing visibility in areas where they are underrepresented. It is important to empower women and to call out the inequalities in the world. One important aspect that we should all remember is that Women's Day should be celebrated every day. International Women's Day is a day where the world comes together to look at the achievements that women have uh, created while facing forms of oppression and discrimination due to their gender. These achievements come in the cultural, political and social economic areas and these are done while women facing the hurdles that they have to face in a day-to-day -day life just because of their gender, such as street harassment, um, gender pay gaps. Women are expected in some cases to um, follow gender norms and even in some parts of the world women aren't even allowed an education or have very reduced rights compared to some nations and of course in every part of the world women still face um, forms of discrimination even that there may be laws in place and the 8th of March is a day in which women's achievements are shown and people are able to educate themselves and learn about these achievements and the day-to-day -day discrimination and repression that women face due to their gender. There is also International Women's Day but well why is it so important why do we celebrate it till now and how did it all start? In Russia where a bunch of uh, very brave women all fed up with their situation started to fight for their rights but what we are talking about well in the past women they were they were facing to all sorts of different problems from how to feed the family or just not to be simply not to be treated like an object with, with without having any rights not being able to vote maybe having exhausting and just abhorrent working conditions and all these things just make you miserable and you want to fight and finally it happened so here we are hello i'm dibyesh the head of school of social sciences this message from me on behalf of my entire school but also as an individual human being to all the students and colleagues of joint for international women's day celebration organized by den democratic education network it's quite important that we celebrate diversity in this world and one diversity, of course, is around gender lines. It's also important to recognize that International Women's Day origin is not only about celebration, but it's also about challenging all forms of injustices and bigotries and prejudices that individuals in the world have suffered, particularly those who are female identified. So over history, we have found the ways in which misogyny and patriarchy have shaped humankind. We have seen the ways in which women, for instance, the pay they get, the violence that they suffer, the opportunities that are available for them, they are all quite differential and it's quite important that we challenge it. So as a school and as a university, we're very committed to making the world and our student body and our your experience as 
diverse and, and as egalitarian as possible. So we need to challenge patriarchy, we need to challenge misogyny, we need to challenge gender-based discrimination. So in that spirit of challenging, but also celebrating, let me again wish you all and happy International Women's Day. Thank you.